And today's tip of the week is Calgary real estate, a good long-term investment. Yeah, and we want to go through this. Tim's going to bring up a graph pretty quickly here on, on what's been happening in Calgary. And we actually couldn't believe it, Tim, when we looked at it today with the numbers. Um, and the funny thing with what's going on in Calgary is there's plenty of people moving here. Uh, Tim and I have been investing in real estate in Calgary for over... Almost 20 years. Yeah, over, over 20 years now. And when we got into it initially, um, you know what? It was all about oil and gas, what the, what that sector was doing. And now it's not even got, it's got anything to do with it, Tim. What's happening is so many people are moving here. We're seeing close to 50,000 people um, move within Canada to um, Alberta. And we're seeing over 100,000 people move here just last year from outside of the country. So that is huge. And the problem is, Tim, we have nowhere to put them. Um, demand, supply and demand, we don't have enough supply. So there's no way we can catch up. The builders aren't building enough. Uh, they're building more multifamily. So that just means detach is going to go skyrocket. And um, Tim, why don't you go over uh, the details that you found? Yeah, so looking at Calgary's long-term investment, we've got some people coming in. Yeah. Okay, looking at people at Calgary's long-term investment, we pulled up these numbers. These are actual numbers from the Calgary Real Estate Board for the last 20 years. Now, that's the average price of all housing types in Calgary. And if you look back at 2004, we were down just over $200,000. It was about $230,000, $225,000, 230000 That was the average price for a, a home in Calgary. And then 20 years later, we're up at you know, almost $540,000. So that works out to just under 7% increase per year for the last 20 years. Even going through those, uh, the three dips there, the world financial crisis in 08, 09, the oil price crash in 2015, and then COVID. Those are the parts where the, the, the curve went down a little bit, but overall you're seeing Calgary's increase by 6.89% per year, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Because we base our, our all of our analysis over three and a half percent, which is Calgary's 75 year average. Um, we know some people out there will use, you know, larger numbers. They'll look back at the last few years and go, oh, no, it's been 10% a year. We like to use conservative numbers in our analysis, but if you look at real world numbers like we have on the screen here, um, the, it's, it's a huge percentage increase. And if you think about inflation, which is about 2% a year, you're way ahead of the inflation rate by just investing in real estate. And there's other rates of return on real estate. Yeah, so the funny thing is, and this is why Tim and I hold our seminars every two weeks. Tim, we've been doing this for many, many years. Um, we have close to 6,000 members. We're trying um, to get to 6,000. I think we've got about 43 to go to 6,000. So tell your friends at work about the Calgary Real Estate Investment Forum. But the, reason, the main reason why we do this, as you can see these dips over the years, and Tim and I, have been through these dips. We've owned um, we've owned over 25 houses here in Calgary, and we've had to make decisions with our real estate over the years. And we found that you need a team around you that is going through this and understands it and isn't guessing. And real estate, as you can see, it goes up and down over the years, but overall a seven percent growth. And we're basing it on three and a half. So when we buy our properties for our clients. We're making sure the numbers work at three and a half percent, and Tim has doubled that. Yeah. And one other thing that you have to understand what's happening now is, is with limited supply, is rents are going through the roof. So when we started, when we started buying properties, we were renting main floor suites out for twelve hundred and basement suites, Tim, for like eight hundred. We were getting probably around two thousand dollars in rent with a double car garage. This would be for a property, you know, in Kingsland or Acadia or Hayesburg, anywhere around there or, or or a community like that. And now, Tim, we're getting close to $4,000 in rents for the same property. So do rents go up? They yeah, have. so the rents are keeping pace with mortgage rate increases and the price increases that we're seeing in the properties. So back to the, is it a good long-term investment? You can see in the last 20 years, it's been a great long-term investment. And we're predicting pretty much the same for the next 20 years. So having those huge increases in the real estate market, if you get into the market, people always say, well, I got in too late, prices are too high now. Well, you could have said that if you got in, in right over here, which is 2007, and you paid 440 for a house, and then it went down the next two years because of the crisis. 
But if you held that property for the long term, you're making those increases over time. Yeah, and one last point I should make is um, people always wonder if they're buying at the top of the market. Well, Tim, you can see if you bought at any of these um, times when the market was at the top, that the market continued. Uh, and so people are wondering where are we heading right now with this market and prices? I think today's average you said Tim was 542,000, somewhere around somewhere that around overall there. in Calgary. We had predicted about two years ago that the Calgary market should get to 650K. And now we're even moving the goalposts with that prediction and moving all the way up to 700,000. So how do we know that? One, we can't we can't keep up with the demand right now. The yep. supply is not going to turn on. And people are gonna keep moving here. It's not gonna slow down. Um, and we've got we've got a whole video that if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see all of the reasons why Calgary will keep going um, the way it's been going in the last year. Yeah, so that's our tip of the week. Um, if you want to see more tips of the week, they are on our Crew TV YouTube channel. Um, just subscribe below. And for people in the room, it's just crewtv.com. So easy to get to. You can see many of our uh, our tips of the week. Awesome.